A surprising turn in the Jerry Sandusky trial. The defense rested today and abruptly. The former football coach did not take the stand in his own defense. So what happened? ABC senior national correspondent Jim Avila takes us behind the scenes. Jerry Sandusky's attorneys can't say why their client won't testify. I can't comment because it's still a gag order. But sources tell ABC News the decision to keep him off the witness stand was made at the literal last minute when during a courtroom break, Sandusky and his two attorneys moved to a back room where Sandusky pushed hard to look into the eyes of the jurors and say, I'm innocent. But he was overruled by his own lawyers, who now believe his wife Dottie's testimony yesterday and newly released evidence that police arguably guided accusers to improve on their original stories has finally left an opening for acquittal without the risky move of having the defendant testify. Too many things could go wrong, we were told, as demonstrated in Sandusky's media interviews. This one with the New York Times. If I say, no, I'm not attracted to boys, that's not the truth because I'm attracted to young people, boys, girls. To make sure Sandusky was truly on board, sources confirmed to ABC News the judge called the defendant into chambers where his right to testify was explained again. There, Sandusky agreed not to take the stand in front of attorneys from both sides and on the record in front of the judge. You know, it's a very difficult decision for a lawyer. And then what happens if you lose? You know, the client sits there and says, gee, you know, if I only could have told my story, if I only could have spoken to the jury, maybe this wouldn't have happened. If convicted, Sandusky would have a theoretical 500 years in jail to contemplate that quick decision made today. The jury gets the case tomorrow after closing arguments.